photos of Trayvon Martin after he died. And the police officer who tried to save his life, jurors saw both today. Fox's Craig Boswell now has the very latest from the George Zimmerman trial. Gruesome photos are shown inside the courtroom as prosecutors introduce evidence they say will help prove George Zimmerman is guilty of murder. The defense says it was self-defense all the way. The crime scene technician testified this afternoon about graphic photos taken at the scene moments after Trayvon Martin was shot. We are also shown the gun George Zimmerman used, his wounds, and clothing from that night. I walked along the A police officer described the bubbling sounds that came from Martin's chest moments after the shot. Sergeant Anthony Raimondo testified he tried to seal a bullet wound in Martin's chest with a plastic bag as he attempted mouth-to-mouth -mouth resuscitation. But Martin was pronounced dead a short time later. I breathed for Mr. Martin, or I tried to, sir. Prosecutors also called the former coordinator for the Sanford Police Neighborhood Watch Program. She testified that community watch members are told to observe and not get involved. Basically that they are the eyes of ears for law enforcement. They're an extension of law enforcement. That um, they're not supposed to take matters into their own hand. Trayvon Martin's father walked out of the courtroom just before the photos were about to be shown. Sabrina Fulton, Trayvon Martin's mother, excused herself just a little while later. In Sanford, Florida, Craig Boswell, Fox News.